<laughs> you know, uh, uh, I guess thing thing comes to my mind. God can do more than you can imagine, and, and we've uh, you know talked about playing our best game for last, saving our best for last, and uh, those guys they they came out and they played their best game today. Offense, defense, special teams, and uh, we just give thanks to God for the blessing and uh, OCS football special, and uh, it's about relationships and uh, it, it just like I say it's really special and. Our theme this year has been discipline, and uh, we talked about that all year long, and uh, because that's something we struggled with at times, saw ourselves in the foot at times last year, and even early on in the, uh, the season, we struggled with some discipline issues. But I tell you what, uh, this group of guys—they were as disciplined as I've ever coached uh, uh, last, you know, this, this playoff run. I, I knew it was a good thing uh, last night. Uh, we met at about uh, 7:45, and uh, as coaches, I told them, I said, "Hey." Lights out at nine o'clock tonight. Well, you know, one thing our parents helped us out this week. I sent an email Sunday night to our parents and said, wake your kids up at six o'clock every day this week. And uh, that way they're gonna be tired, they're gonna be used to getting up at six o'clock. That's what we're gonna do on Friday. And uh, so, so anyway, the parents helped us out with that aspect, but these kids, they show up early for practice. They're not on time, they show up early. And the thing that I felt good about last night, I told them nine o'clock, turn the lights out, turn your phones off and, and keep them on side. Don't be doing anything, texting or anything like that. So. About 8.40, uh, I hadn't heard any of the kids in the hallway yet. And so I said, uh, I had one of our coaches send a text to his brother and, and say, y'all need to wrap up your meeting. He never got a response. And so uh, I sent a text to Chance and to Micah Dye, and I said, y'all need to wrap up your meeting. I never got a response. So five minutes later, I, I head downstairs to tell them to wrap it up. And I kind of heard a little noise around the corner. I thought, okay, they're breaking and stuff like that. Well, that noise wasn't them. It was from the lobby people and, and stuff like that in there. And, I opened up the room where they were meeting because they had their own team meeting afterwards, and no one, no one was to be found. And uh, so, so I said, those guys must have turned off the phones early. And, and sure enough, I told Chance this morning, I said, hey, I sent you a text last night. And sure enough, uh, he looked at it, and, and they said, yeah, Coach, we, uh, we went with 8.30 cutoff time. And uh, so, again, they, they were disciplined, and uh, everything they did, they were disciplined. And, and, and that's a theme that has been our theme all year in football that, that these guys really grew into. And, and, and adopted to that discipline thing. And uh, it, it's just paid off tremendously. And that's something that I've told them, it, it don't last just for one season of football. Hopefully that's something that'll last the rest of their life and help them in their uh, Christian walk, their, their, their life as a dad, as a husband, uh, that that discipline uh, will reap uh, the blessings that, that it brings. Question, Co uh, Coach, uh the same Southern Lamb team uh, came, up to, uh, came up to your house last year in the playoffs and probably and did you run a little sooner than expected? How did, how did that affect your motivation and preparation for this game today? Well, I tell you, we were we were highly motivated because it, it stung last year when we lost in the quarterfinals. And uh, I usually don't do this, but we posted up in our locker room that next week, uh, you know, some some stuff about how the Southern Lab ended our season that someone else is in the Superdome, St. Fred knocked them off, and and uh, you know they St. Fred got the job done last year, we didn't, and uh, we just we left that that. Uh, Piece of information that newspaper article laminated and clipped on our board for an entire year just to let that sting of not getting back to the Superdome be something that motivates and, and propels uh, each guy every day they go into workout. There's that reminder of how painful it is to end the season early. And uh, I think it, it was a good motivation for them again. Is they were excited about the opportunity to play this same group of guys. Southern Lab has a great team. I said it two years ago in 2012. When we played them in the quarterfinals and they were all freshmen, I said, this is going to be a great team. Last year they proved that. They were a great team. They play as tough a schedule in the state because no 1A and 2A schools will play them. And, uh, I mean, you look who they lost to this year, powerhouses. And uh, those guys are back this year as juniors. Coach Mitchell's done a great, great job with that program. And, uh, again, they have outstanding ball players. And I'll tell you, they're going to be a team that you better watch out for next year because they got got all these juniors coming back. They'll be seniors. but. Um, so that's just some thoughts on that. Hey, Coach, uh, uh, defensively, uh, Southern Lab, I think you guys noticed some things during the course of the week in relation to formation, zero coverage. I thought you had a chance to make some big plays, and, and obviously you did not. Well, uh, I tell you, that's something uh, we really did not see much at all during the playoffs of some, some cover one, cover zero. Uh, in the earlier season, we saw it every week of the playoffs, and so it really prepped us every week of the playoffs. But we did see a few missed uh, you know, formation things that we felt like we could do. And, uh, you know, Chance, he was on today as well as I've ever seen anybody. And uh, our receivers, we had no drop passes. I mean, everybody caught the football. 
he was on the money with his throwing. I mean, uh, he just played a great game. And, and that's the thing, in the big games, you gotta make big plays. And our, our receivers uh, and Chance, they were in sync with each other. Our linemen gave them time uh, to, to get the pass off. And so, uh, again, things, you, you draw some things up, but, but I tell you what, they just, they clicked today and these guys executed. You talk about big plays, I thought the person maybe came from the defensive side that fumbled inside the 10, uh, one of the seven zip up I tell you what, defense wins championships is the old adage, and, and, and this group of guys on defense, all of them, they, uh, they really grew up as this season went along. Uh, they played with passion, they played with heart, and uh, Coach Bristow, Coach Bentley, Coach Smith, those guys put a great uh, game plan together. They put a lot of time and energy into it, and they communicate with the kids, and the kids spend time studying film and, and asking questions, and again, that comes down to a discipline. They knew where they were supposed to be every time, but uh, defense wins championships. They were able to create some some just valuable turnovers uh, that our guys capitalized on. And so, uh, just so so proud of our defense. Coach, how do you explain that the second quarter was uh, pretty nice on your side? Of the I tell you, that, that second half or second quarter, it did. We got some momentum rolling, and uh, you know, you kind of like sharks in the water. When you smell blood, you better attack. And, and again, when, when they had some mishaps go, uh, our defense kept putting it on, our special teams, our, our offense, uh, guys just kept playing aggressive and getting after it. And uh, again, we were blessed with having a lot of things go our way in that second quarter, and our guys capitalized on that. Can a couple of you guys talk about that, how things felt in the second quarter and working work so well out there? <clears throat> uh, things went really well in the second quarter. I think they had a bunch of snap problems. You know, starting our offense in the red zone, I mean, that's just huge. You know? We were able to execute well, and I'm just proud of all my guys for that. Yeah, it's a big momentum shift when your defense makes plays like they did. And then uh, when we get good field position, the offense comes out and you capitalize on it. it uh, it's a huge momentum shift, a shift, and uh, stay with us throughout the game. Coach, a lot of you guys certainly used to scoring, scored a lot of points this week. But what's it like to, to get a guy like James involved who's missed a lot of time this year and get him a couple touchdowns? I'll tell you what. Uh, you know, we work on some plays all year long, and, and uh, you know, we played the entire season without uh, Josh Pennybaker. Uh, uh, you know, broke his collarbone first play of the season, his knee got injured week eight, and uh, his first game back was first round playoffs. And then James, uh, we, we missed him the last six games. Both these guys started for us last year, and, and they just have a great understanding of the field for, thing, for things. And, uh, you know, to, for ha having them back, they just got better and better through the playoffs. And again, they help the uh, offense continue to improve. But James, uh, you know, he, he's a gritty player. And that fullback is a dirty position because sometimes they may not touch the ball at all during the game. And that's happened a lot of times for James. There's been times that the receivers have caught him, uh, other running backs have scored touchdowns, and, and James, he, he was a blocking back that night. And, uh, and but, but again, he's a guy that you can count on with the football. He's going to do what's right. He's going to give everything he has. And uh, so he's a clutch player, and, and again, we felt good uh, getting him the ball any way we could. And, and, and those screen plays, he, he made great, great plays on those. Coach, the last year's playoff game, uh, Derek paid for the kid as number 17. He built up a lot of yards in a lot of different capacities in that playoff game last year. Did you all look at him on the film, have a plan to neutralize him? He was largely ineffective on use today. Well, we, we did what we do on defense. We knew no, no doubt. I mean, uh, it's no secret. Playmakers make plays, and uh, coming into this game, there's no doubt that, that Derek Pate and uh, Williams, number seven, that those are the guys that they're gonna try to get the ball to. Uh, running back has, has had a profit, has had a great year, and we knew those are the guys you gotta stop. And, and that Blade Bill has a strong arm that we gotta be aware of, and that, that any play we, we emphasize all week, we gotta be sure tackers because those guys can take a five-yard pass and turn it into an 80-yard touchdown. And so, uh, again, defense they 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 swarm. Uh, had great, great effort and energy in, in the pursuit, and uh, you get a lot of guys around the ball. First guy may not have got him down, but you had other guys hustling. That, that you know, everybody's rallying to the football and was able to get him. Coach, you can answer this or any of the players too. Um, and this is probably not anything new for you guys, but today uh, it certainly was nice in the first half, even the third. You guys spread around and five or six different guys uh, got touchdowns. Uh, well, we got a lot of playmakers. I mean, uh, when you're a quarterback in the system that we're in. And you have as many playmakers as we have. That it's, it's really easy to throw the ball. You just give it to them. They run. It's a. Uh, it was a fun time. I had a great time out there today. Uh, we have a great team this year, and it was a lot of fun.